I woke up one day and saw this cool package from Lego. It has all these Lego Super Mario sets, and I'm curious if it's more of the same or something different. Spoiler alert, it's even more of the same. The first sets from the LEGO Super Mario line in 2023 include Conkdor's Noggin Bomper, Ice Mario Suit and Frozen World, Lava Wave Ride, Flipra Snow Adventure, Creativity Toolbox, and Peach's Garden Balloon Ride. Unfortunately, they did not send the Series 6 character packs, which is very disappointing because I wanted Birdo and even more Cat Goomba, but that'll be for another day. This wave of LEGO Super Mario covers a little bit of everything. We have some brand new ice-themed elements, going back to the desert, the lava areas, and another creativity box. So we'll start from smallest to biggest, going with Conkdor's Noggin Bumper first. All you do is you jump on top of his head and that's it. You can use Mario, Luigi, or Peach to bop on top of Conk Door's noggin, which is super difficult to pronounce by the way, but that's not Lego's fault. And then you can take out the enemy just like that. This being $15 for 130 pieces is not too bad. They could have put this at 20 bucks, which would have felt very overpriced, but for 15 bucks for a giant enemy like this is really cool and you can even take the enemy off of its platform and put it on display elsewhere, which has been a recurring thing that I've wanted from LEGO Super Mario. I don't want the characters built into the functionality systems. I wanna be able to display them separately from that, and Conk Door is perfect for that. Where things get spicy or rather icy is with the Ice Mario suit and Frozen World. It's set number 71415, it retails for $24.99 and has 105 pieces, which you might say, Brian, that price to part ratio is crazy, but that's because this set includes a suit. This suit is the Ice Mario suit, and it's in a much more effectively priced set. You're not gonna need to spend 80 or $90 to get the Ice Mario suit. You get it in this $25 set, along with a Goomba and a Kooligan. What's really awesome, and you'll see in the Flipper Snow Adventure, are these really cool semi-tile ice pieces where they're not totally flat, but they make for a perfect surface for a frozen lake. So instead of using the trans clear blue pieces, you can have these and scatter them all throughout your ice rink in your Lego city, or in this case, in the frozen world. The main functionality is hitting this ice platform against the Kooligan. It bursts the Goomba out of the ice crystal, and then you bop on the Goomba. The ice suit unfortunately has a blemish on Mario's cap, which I don't know how that red blemish gets there because this is a custom molded blue piece. This isn't a red hat recolored to be blue, so maybe the printing with the M messed up somewhere? I'm not quite sure. The red blemish isn't supposed to be there. It's supposed to be an all blue hat and overall combination that shoots out ice balls instead of fireballs at the enemies in the area. No new game mechanics are being added with the addition of the ice suit, so you can comfortably add it to your Lego Mario suit collection. The lava wave ride is very similar to the Piranha Plant power slide, but there's a little bit more going on with it considering that you have a fire bro, two lava buddies, and these curved railings, which would otherwise be used for a roller coaster. I believe these flame pieces originated in Lego City, but they've made their way over here, which is a very nice addition and adds more liveliness to the set overall. After taking out the fire bro, you're gonna put yourself on the skull platform and rock from left to right, knocking the two lava buddies or whatever enemy you wanna put there off of their platforms, knock them out for some coins and move on throughout your level. 218 pieces for 34.99, it definitely stings and the lava buddies have been in plenty of sets so they're not necessarily unique or at this point, interesting enemies to include in the set. You're really getting this for the fire bro if you're not gonna use the functionality of the wave ride itself. So $35 to get a fire bro is definitely not worth it, but if you're getting the whole wave of sets, this isn't a bad one in terms of functionality. The roller coaster pieces are interesting. Obviously everything is printed in the set, just like every other Lego Super Mario set. So no stickers. It comes off as a good set you could do a lot of other things with, but in terms of the lava wave ride set itself, it leaves a little bit to be desired, especially at that price point. One of the biggest sets of the wave is the Flipra Snow Adventure. Comes in at 567 pieces for $65. This is definitely the most expansive of the sets a part of this wave. It includes a red Koopa, 
Flipress, a baby penguin, Freezy, and a snowman at the top of the mountain, but that's not its own character in a weird way. This set makes fantastic use of those brand new ice elements that I was talking about previously. Lots of translucent blue between the boulders that get flipped by Flipress. You're stepping on that teal platform as the Flipress launches out these ice boulders. And once you avoid each of those two, you can go on the platform at the very back of where the Flipress is, knock him out for a couple of coins. Again, just like every other enemy in LEGO Super Mario. You can greet the baby penguin just like you did with the collectible figure that came out a little while ago. You can knock out the Koopa just like you would any other Koopa. And then while you're on your adventure, you can just stop by the fire, roast a couple marshmallows and relax a little bit because it's a very frigid night out there in the Super Mario landscape, so you gotta relax every once in a while, you know what I mean? After you're done maxing and relaxing, you're gonna knock out the Freezy from behind the big snowman platform. Not only knock out that Freezy if you have the fire suit or otherwise, you can actually get a fruit that's hidden behind him. Once you're entirely done with that, you can head to the tippity top of the snowman mountain where you pivot at the very top to knock the snowman's head loose go down the track and potentially knock out some other enemies that might be on the ice lake down below. So there's no scannable tile on the snowman itself. It's used to knock out enemies and that, that's kind of it. This doesn't seem to be directly from any Mario game, but it's a fun play element if you have enemies on that ice rink. So this set goes for $65, 567 pieces, and this is another one of the sets I wish had another enemy or two in it. The Flippers doesn't easily come off of that Technic platform that he's basically baked into, so you're going to have to do a lot of finagling in order to get that on its own. And although there's a lot of stuff going on here between the trees, the ice lake platforms, and lots of translucent blue and teal, it doesn't quite feel like $65, it feels like $55 but this isn't a bad set by any means. There's lots of cool play functionality. The enemy selection is pretty good. And if you're a fan of those ice elements that you can put in your Lego city, this is even better to get. The creativity toolbox has about 20 more pieces and is actually $5 less than the Flipper Snow Adventure. So I don't know how that works, but in this set, you have a good selection of parts to really flesh out your Lego Super Mario starter course with a nice selection of enemies as well. You get another Koopaling with Wendy, you have a blue Yoshi, a Goomba with a, I believe, a unique face on there compared to the other ones. You have a power-up mushroom and lots and lots of goodies. So in the instructions, they tell you to make a couple prefab things to put in the background to really dress up your adventure set, but there's not a lot of play functionality compared to any of the other LEGO Super Mario sets. Yes, there are a couple fruit pieces, the gift box Yoshi, but no crazy play elements that you haven't seen before. This definitely reminds me of the set that came out around this time last year where it had that 30 second pipe and it had more coins and you know, you could customize the block with it. That was a very bad value where I feel with this one, it actually is worth the money. And you get a little bit of everything, the highlands and the backgrounds, different sizes of trees. You get desert elements with these really cool palm trees, more of those flame elements. It's a little bit of everything and it makes your LEGO Super Mario level that much more special. So if you were picking up the starter course for somebody's birthday and you wanted to get a nice supplementary set that didn't break the bank, this one might be a good one to add on. It's gonna make it feel like a really complete set and I, I'm actually a really big fan of this one. I'm usually the kind of guy that likes one big cohesive set, but in terms of a true creativity toolbox for 60 bucks, this is pretty good. The final set as part of this review is Peach's Garden Balloon Ride, set number 71419. It has 453 pieces and retails for $50. This one I really like as well. This is definitely a Peach-centric set between the Hot Air Balloon, Pom Pom, the Blue Toad, Pink Yoshi, and the Lava Bubble. And for 50 bucks, it feels very substantial. I attribute that mostly to the Hot Air Balloon. Although it's not made of a ton of pieces, especially in the balloon portion, it's a pretty big thing, and I'm always a fan of big things in LEGO sets to make it look like it has more stuff going on. Yes, it's fantastic to have very detailed set pieces all throughout, but it needs to be substantial in order to justify this price, at least in my opinion. This is Pom Pom's first appearance in the LEGO Super Mario line, obviously accompanying Boom Boom from the LEGO Luigi starter course. And just like from Super Mario Bros 2, you have the turnip, which Peach can then pick up and throw at enemies and get coins out of. Again, everything involves coins, just like always. Pink Yoshi functions the exact same way as every other Yoshi, so in this wave, we get two Yoshi, which is pretty cool. If you knock over the fountain, you get a hidden coin block in there, 
and Toad is just minding his own business doing some gardening. We could stop by and say hello to him as you go on top of the Toad house to find an invincibility star. So in my opinion, this is a really awesome Peach set and has a little bit more charm than some of the other peach centric sets that came out in the last wave you could put her inside the hot air balloon basket get more coins and float away that way and i love love the fact that you can open up the hot air balloon and see the lava buddy inside of there powering the whole thing so that's a bonus way to include an extra enemy while adding to the uh, the charm of the set and i'm always a fan of getting exclusive characters so pom pom works out really nicely love the pink yoshi and the turn up from mario bros 2 man how could you not be a fan of that for 50 bucks this is a very solid set and i could absolutely see people getting this alongside the peach starter course so when it's all said and done am i a fan of everything that lego has sent through i would say so but it's definitely more of the same it's really a shame that they didn't include the character packs like they did the past couple times because those were the highlight from the last couple of waves of lego super mario sets i've gotten for a review so I would normally be glowing over the eight figures that would be included, but not this time around. There's definitely some sets that are overpriced, that are lacking in play functionality, but you're getting a nice assortment of new characters to add to your lineup if you're a diehard LEGO Super Mario fan. But at this point, it really feels like they're just trying to finish up all the rough edges of what they're missing between the Koopalings and characters. Like, nothing here is standing out to me as, oh my goodness, you have to buy this thing. The Garden Balloon Ride and Creativity Toolbox make for fantastic supplemental sets to the starter courses, but I don't know if you need to go out of your way to get them as soon as release day hits. And with the red blemish aside, the Ice Mario Suit and Frozen World is pretty good at 25 bucks, so that would be the one I would definitively recommend out of all of the sets I currently have from this lineup. You're either in or you're out, and nothing from this wave is going to change your mind one way or another. Well, maybe I have it wrong. Maybe I need to be enlightened. So let me know in the comments below if something else caught your eye, and I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. My name has been Brian Saviano here for Beyond the Brick, and I'll see you again next time for more LEGO Super Mario or something else entirely different. Bye.